Oh. Hey, buddy. We're on. We're on? live. Uh, we're How finally. Everybody's been waiting patiently. They're out so of we, I mean, we, I mean, so we sit in a virtual green room mm -hmm. before we go live and just kind of catch up and bullshit and, you know, yeah, what you know what normal dudes do, talk about this and that and that and, that and whatever. So we're in the green room and then all of a sudden it says, you better go live or we're kicking your ass out. So we apologize for the delay, but we're in the green room chatting it up. So, well, yeah, I figured that we'd build the suspense, but turns out people <laughs> are just out of out of beer and out of popcorn. So we kind of screwed yeah. ourselves. Yeah. So, speaking of building the suspense, I watched uh, the new the new well the the James Bond movie that came out in October. I won't talk about how it ended, but uh, yeah. What are James, you? What are you talking about? The James Bond what's movie the, came out last October. Uh, what's the name of it? No Time to Die. Didn't we watch? Didn't we watch that when we were at your place for uh, Thanksgiving? Oh, we watched Mission Impossible. Oh, so, that's it. Okay. So was it a good movie to watch? It was good. It was a really good movie. Uh, it was a really good movie. But why I say why I tied it in there is because uh, we noticed that it's a twenty. It's got a twenty-five minute introduction before the opening credits roll. What do you mean? I mean, like. In J typical James Bond fashion, the movie oh, starts okay. with an action scene, but oh, all, of yeah. sudden, all of a sudden you're 25, you're literally 25 minutes, you're a half hour into the movie before the title credits roll. So is it like a three hour movie? 245. Okay, it's a commitment. Yeah. So, okay. It's a commitment, but honestly, it didn't yeah. feel is like it. Is it, it. it's the last one that James Craig as James Daniel Bond? Craig. Yeah, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig, done. whatever his name is. So yeah. should I put in my application? Yes. Yeah, rumor I has could it. Be like, I could be like the salty james bond fucking yeah, tell you yeah. how it is who which who which was your favorite james bond guy <sighs> sean connery just the way he talked it yeah. just meant so much that's pretty good sean connery <laughs> good. i don't do impressions so don't expect any others so no, we, no we're gonna have to roll, roll with it. <laughs> yeah i like i like sean connery because he's just like the epitome of cool he is like the dos Equis. Yeah. Uh, commercial guy. What if the Dos okay. Equis commercial guy became the next James Bond? Well, then he. Well, I think he's dead, but he. I, I'd yeah. love him better than um, Sean Connery. Yeah, uh, I really like Daniel Craig. I really did. Uh, I think it's his. I don't know, man. It's something about his well, eyes. His his steely blue eyes. Sh shit. This is why. I, this is why. I'm saying this is a straight guy. He gives me hope for when I'm in my fifties to look sexy as shit, man. Well. I got to say, bro, you got the sexy blue eyes if you can zoom in on the camera. And you got that nice fucking Aaron Coffin beard going on. And the fucking hair, dude. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, I, yeah, Daniel Craig is where it's at. But I did hear that. Uh, so he, did you know that the family that owns the James Bond franchise, their last name is Broccoli? Really? I so what do you mean? Night. So what do you mean they own the James Bond franchise well because there are books written right and so the oh, family oh, line of like okay. who actually owns okay. Okay. that All right. I, ip uh is the last name is broccoli but apparently daniel craig's gonna help produce because he was executive producer on these movies well, and he's, yeah. he's gonna produce the next ones too so it's gonna be kind of yeah. interesting yeah so who so obviously daniel craig is your favorite james bond i do like him pierce brosnan was pretty good yeah who's the, okay. who's the okay. original Who's the original? I don't even remember. Oh, fuck. We'll have to Google that. Okay. So here's a question for you. Who's your favorite Batman? Oh, choose your person wisely. Otherwise, I can't be friends with you. Uh, uh, oh, think, think, think wisely. Yeah, you better Google this because we will no, not uh, be friends. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who the original James Bond was. And that's <laughs> oh, I know who hard. the original Batman was. Who's the original Batman? No, I'm not going to tell you because who is your favorite Batman? Um. Okay. I will let you some help slide. I will let you slide. There's two of my favorite Batmans, and that's it. So I'll let you slide on either one of them. I'm trying to find a list of who they who who all played Batman. Uh, I can sorry. I can fucking name I can fucking name all them right. off like that. Start naming them off, and I'll tell you my favorite. Adam West. No. That's not your favorite Batman? I think no. we have to end this show right now. 
Michael <laughs> Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was pretty good. Uh, Val Kilmer. But, ooh, Val Kilmer played Batman? Yes, for like one, yeah. Oh, Dude, you goodness. don't know this? And how can Olivia's- you not say Adam West is the best Batman? People uh, better be responding on these goddamn comments because, man... Well, I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna be in trouble after the show because uh, Olivia's favorite actor in the whole wide world is Val Kilmer. So the fact that I didn't know that Val Kilmer played Batman, I'm gonna I'm, uh, that's not gonna bode well. So, so because you didn't like Adam West uh, as the favorite Batman, should I get it right up in your face and do this? <laughs> Top Gun, M- remember I, that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the Val Kilmer's life story. Ice man, man cr- Ice is, Man. You gotta love Ice Man. It's crazy. I mean, the, there's a documentary, I believe it's on Amazon, that kind of walks through Val Kilmer's story now. Like, it, it's him telling his own story now uh, after the throat cancer and everything else. And so it's just kind of a sad, it's kind of a sad arc, honestly, because that guy put in all the effort, time, effort, energy to do well. And then Mother Nature just kind of kick them down um, well i mean no, no, nobody lives forever bro no it's so true you gotta make you, uh, you gotta make the best life you can of what you got now or all that's right you did got. you know so i'll redeem myself no, did you, you did you know no, that Val I, Kil- i'm really Kil- upset that you don't like adam west as the original Batman. them dudes mm. wore speedos on tv in the 60s <laughs> that's got to take some balls yes it does especially in that time period yes right I mean, today in age, people like be like, "Oh, it's just TV show." But back, yeah. back in that time, so you know, you you got me jazzed up. Now I'm gonna have to watch all the goddamn Batman movies now, dude. There's a ton of them. I'm on IMDb, and there's like, I'm all the way down to like four, love, number forty. Well, yeah, but yeah. I'm also into Lego Batman, so I don't know who. No, who's I ain't watching no so. Lego Batman. There ain't no such thing as Lego Batman. No. Uh, did you know that Val Kilmer actually wrote a book of poetry? Uh, no, I did not. I am not yeah. a Val Kilmer fan, so I really don't give a shit. But. What? You don't like Val Kilmer? Well, you know what? I mean, he wasn't the great. He sucked at Batman. I'm sorry. But he was awesome as Iceman. Right? So yeah. he go, So how could you go from Batman to Iceman, or did he go from Iceman to Batman? What about his Western movies? Listen listen here, man. Stick to Iceman, okay? What about his Western movies? Tombstone. Uh, who did he play in Tombstone, though? Tombstone was a great movie. Wasn't he? No, yeah. So somebody here says, I'm a Val Kilmer fan, and I, I am very sorry for you. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Uh, yeah, Tombstone. I mean, Tombstone was a good movie. But, I mean, so so let's think... Okay, so since you're bringing up these old movies, yeah. Tombstone, Young Guns, Um, what are some of those with all... with, with the Emilio Estevez is in the Charlie. I mean, there's young guns. the mighty ducks. No, not the mighty ducks. But Emilio uh, Estevez was in the mighty uh, ducks. What the fuck with, with, with soda pop and pony boy. What the fuck was that name of that movie with all the big stars? That's before my time. Oh my fucking God. I mean, there's so many, I mean, red Dawn had, you know, big stars. There's there so many movies that all these guys now are like, I, yeah, it's great. Let's, uh, what the, the fuck is the, that movie with Soda Pop and Pony Boy? The, They're really gonna make the late eighties, early nineties were were great movies. They were good good people at that point. Now we're in this world where we just literally repeat, recycle, reuse movie storylines over and over and over again. Can't get an original idea out. The there. Outsiders, the great outsiders. movies. Have you never watched The Outsiders, Eric? No. Watch it. No, I just watched Goodfellas. What two weeks ago? I know, and you text me, and yeah, that's a great movie. There's, so, a cla- yeah. there's classics. See, I should. Do you like a clown? Do I amuse you? <laughs> this is the issue. We didn't. Want, well, I should have watched the classics when I was working at the firehouse because that's all. Yes. Honest. I had some more time well, to sit there. Come on, do you got time to watch the classics or Brett Michaels' Rock Love RV? We had time okay. to watch that. I mean, yeah, let's be honest. Did. Yeah. Uh, exactly. What's your shirt today? Ooh, people are not gonna like this, but you know what? We are. It says you ain't black, Joe Joe Biden. So, and I shared shared the screen here. So, this company Biden. I got the shirt from is called American AF, as in American as fuck. So, yeah. Biden tells voters you ain't black if you're still deciding between him and Trump. Right. This is obviously. So, oh, they made such a big deal about this, but yeah. <laughs> 
I feel like I remember that story actually. Oh yeah, it was a big deal. That was a yeah, big as one. soon as I seen the share, I'm like, yeah, that's mine. It's probably the most offensive thing I have, and yeah. I don't, oh, we've got a couple of guys on the department that like I think challenged each other to wear the most offensive shirt possible. They were some of them were pretty challenged. Oh, speaking of which, is this offensive? <laughs> is, what is this offensive? Out, is, is this outfit offensive? Look at this guy. This is the uh, tight end for the Bills rolling to Kansas City. Uh, yesterday. Dude, are those like those old eighty Zubaz pants? Yes, they are. Yes, I they are. Have, do they still sell those? He's I have those. Dude, those are like Zubaz. Yes, they are. That's exactly right. Yep. Did he like hashtag Zubaz in them? <laughs> yeah. Yep. With well, his Chick fil A, his nice leather saddleback bag, okay. and his Zubaz pants. Zubaz. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I know what those are. That's so, awesome. Right? Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm wearing today, I'm hailing Shit's Creek uh, because. Oh, uh, yeah. Rose Apothecary. Uh, I think that show is hilarious. I think David's hilarious. And now that, dude, I make, now that I make candles, I have my own little apothecary store myself. So. Dude, there are so many great one-liners in that show. I just wish my mind can just capture them all. Because that, I mean, I had a hard time watching it at first, but then when you actually listen to the dialogue right. and, and the one-liners and shit, it's like, oh, that fucking show is awesome. Yeah. Just kind of like curb your enthusiasm. Uh, God, that's like the dirty Seinfeld right there. That show's awesome. Curb your enthusiasm cracks yep. my ass up. Yeah, that and, shit's and, funny. And it's funny because like every time we order Chinese food and split out the shrimps <laughs> and stuff, we say, yeah, there's only three shrimps. <laughs> yeah, that show's great. Uh, and the new uh, the new seasons are hilarious too. I mean, with like the Spite store where he opens up the coffee shop next oh, to yeah. the coffee shop. Oh, the, yes, the Spite yeah. store. And, oh, yeah. My, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. The post op, the post office worker shows up in shorts, and he's like, "How can I take you serious? You're wearing shorts." <laughs> you argue with me wearing shorts? <laughs> yeah, that show's great. Yeah, yeah awesome. so Shit's Creek makes me happy. Um, I actually just saw oh a TikTok video. Actually, if we're bringing TikTok, oh my video. god, here we're going with the TikTok again. Yeah, uh, a woman did her ver- her variation of Alexis Rose in quarantine with covid and it was pretty spot on and pretty hilarious actually so, so she did what she pretended she was alexis rose uh in quarantine and kept talking to alexis is, alexis is the uh like the supermodel the daughter uh in in schitt's creek oh, oh 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 okay 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 yeah she talks uh she talks all hoity-toity with her hands and yeah, stuff so okay. i enjoyed that one but uh also since i still haven't had anybody asked to send me coffee mugs yet i'm now using a chipped coffee mug today i'm running because, run to the bottom uh, of the barrel so d- i will send you a coffee mug to use how's that uh, because i'm you. still sporting the views views from the back seat Probably you switch, can't really see that very good but it does say views from the back seat but yeah. and i'm sporting a chipped uh alpaca my bags with an alpaca Al- alpaca my bag so that one right there goes out to witzel he loves alpacas I didn't know that. Well, then he, yeah. here you go, Chief. This one's for you, you Alpaca. Go. There you go. Cheers. Alpaca. He said um, he's watching, but I don't know. I was watching a show the other night and learned uh, from an etiquette expert that if you're, like, giving a cheers, like, if you're giving a, a salute, like, where you think you're supposed to clink glasses, Astrovia. you're not supposed to actually clink the glasses per etiquette rules. I didn't know that. Uh, because of fear of chipping or you just – Raise them and be good. Well, just raise them and be good. Like you okay. look at everybody well, in the eye, raise that. your glasses, and then you're done. Yeah. But you don't actually do the clinks, which interesting. Well, I can kind of see that because do you really want to clink glasses with like everybody at the bar or at the party? <laughs> or would you rather just raise a glass and say cheers? Right. I can see right. that. Yeah, I think that's important. maybe clink the glass next to you, but you know, it's kind of like you know, clinking like raising hands. And mm-hmm. clinking everybody's glass is kind of like going to church and like giving everybody a sign of peace. Do you really want to shake everybody's peace dirty ass you. hand? Peace I mean, be with you. I, I mean, you're sitting next to your old lady coughing in her freaking hand two seconds before you wish her to sign a piece. Well, not anymore. Bro. Everybody's wearing masks now. It, it, well, okay, back in the day <laughs> before all this shit. So pre 2020, okay, pre 2020, you still ain't shaking. Some dirty old lady's hand has just been coughing in it, you know, smoking cigarettes and coughing in her fucking hand. They give you a fucking sign of peace in church. Ain't happening. Not Sorry. happening. No. 
Yeah, can you believe we've been dealing with this COVID stuff for two years? I mean, we are like, we are two months away from when things shut down the first time, like March 17th of 2020. For, for like the third year, right? 20, yeah. 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 Year three. Oh, here. <laughs> Funny story. So, so a precursor to what I'm about to say, just to let everybody know, if you go to the dealership and buy a brand new Buick, you get a free handicap placard for your car <laughs> you do no, no no joke so i literally have seen it all the other day uh at, at the firehouse we go to the grocery store and we get our groceries for the day so you know have lunch and dinner so we are at the grocery store we see a buick with a handicap placard in the window with handicap plates i'm double handicapped parked <laughs> In front of the goddamn fire hydrant. So oh, it's, yeah. like, it's like, whoa, whoa, wait, you have the best parking ever anywhere, and you choose to park in front of the fucking hydrant by, by the loading dock. First off, that's the farthest place you can go to get to the goddamn store. So they weren't waiting for anybody because there was nobody in there, but I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I wish I had a ticket book. I threw like eight tickets at him. For being, or double whoever. for being double for handicapped being a, or for parking in front of the hydrant? Head. Park in front of the hydrant with the handicap, farthest away from the store. I mean, you have, I mean, people get pissed off if I park in the handicap spot. Right. Okay. I mean, I don't do that, but they would get mad at me. Listen, so why should why shouldn't I get mad at somebody parking in front of the goddamn hydrant with a handicap sticker? Or uh, nobody ever called the fire department for doing something smart. Now, here, this is what happened. Okay, this is what uh, you are correct. <laughs> this like is what happened. <laughs> so I have a feeling that the driver of that car had stopped at the Exxon Mobil on their road trip before. And they had an issue. Like they had to you you stopped at an Exxon Mobil and had four jalapeno cheddar taquitos before, right? <laughs> Me kick up the bed. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so the driver of that after breakfast, the driver of that car, the huh? yeah, <laughs> the driver of that car had this issue going on. Yeah. Uh, they had stopped. Okay, the so what is the best part of this photo? Those shorts, man. Those are the correct shorts for grown ass men. Look at those things. Anybody has anything different? You're full of shit. Those are the correct length of shorts for grown ass men, and I have. Fucking shorts that short. I don't give a shit. I think I've seen Skies you in shorts. Out, out, bro. I've seen you in shorts that short. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh I think I've seen and everybody you in... fucking looks at me and is like, what the hell? I was like, bro, this is like the deal. Yeah. So this is Chuck Norris, everybody that can't see the photo. Uh you're gonna have to start watching oh, yeah. this live or checking it out on YouTube. But it's Chuck Norris kicking the door down and like those are some Daisy Dukes, man. I mean fuck yeah, they man, are. Look at the clay. He's got a pink shirt on. I think I've seen you in oh. this exact outfit at Bacon Fest. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Hang on. Okay, you keep talking. Let me. Yeah, I don't know what the I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> so the the the, the, oh, the uh, meme uh, that we've got pulled up says me kicking open the bathroom stall at work after eating four jalapeno cheddar taquitos from the Exxon Mobil on my lunch break, and it's Chuck Norris with Daisy Dukes on, cowboy boots, yeah. flaming. Okay, so I, around him. I don't have a quick one or uh, the right one to show you, but here's 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 what you're talking about. Oh, there it is—the pink shirt. He doesn't have his Daisy Dukes though. I I, I will search through the one with the date with the Daisy Duke. So Oops. I will. <laughs> They're out there. Yeah, they are. Are they are out there? Oh man, crazy. Yeah, and so nobody ever. Co so let's see here. I've got. A, we got. I got after that. We've got a food theme going here at the grocery store. I'll tell you what, I do miss, I do miss it. I, one of the things I, I miss is that everybody at Hy-Vee knew us by name. At they still me. do. I know. They still do. Do you remember, when, that, that do you remember when the guy accosted you in the store and he would <laughs> not keep his hands off you? I remember that clear, clear as day. I talk about that all the time. Uh, what was that guy's name? Because like Kane was one, but it or wasn't no. Kane. It was. There's was, was another guy. Oh shit! Uh, but wow. yeah, for those that don't know, there was a guy. There, there was a guy at the local Hy-Vee um, that, if I saw him in the parking lot, he would like get violent with me. 
Yeah. Like, I don't know what I did to him, but he would literally... You get- literally set him off. He said in his mind, I fucking hate you, and I don't even know you. And all I would do is smile and talk to this guy. But I, for some reason, like... All he, you do is smile. He yeah. was not... He was not happy with Eric for some reason. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> and the more I talked to him and the more I made him sm- try to make conversation with him, the more he got pissed off. So I probably... Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. probably the issue. I just needed to walk away. Yeah. Uh, I can't... Couldn't <laughs> need to learn. I can't make friends with everybody. I mean, right some point people will just not like you and this guy for some reason hey man, he i don't know i don't not. know what it was i don't know what it was no but i love that the 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 clerks at the grocery store they took good care of us man i mean if we got they a did. call they would let us put our food back in the freezers and stuff and they took good care of us i miss that uh i haven't i don't go to the grocery store often enough now to know the clerks by name uh, because we were there every third day. I mean, we bought food for the shift. Yeah. And- um, well, we okay. So here's a funny story, and I'm gonna start calling out shifts now. So Victoria from High V uh, sees us every day, and she's a pretty vocal, outspoken, uh, older woman with no filters. I love it. She gave us a bag for Christmas with some cookies she made, and she had made this needlepoint um, cloth-looking thing that had a Dalmatian on with a fire hat that said, like, fire department. So I thought that was cool. So I put that, that cloth over the bitch bench. Remember what the bitch bench was? The couch. The bitch bench. The sea shift bitch bench, which is still there, hasn't moved. It's still there. So I put this cloth over the couch. We worked, a shift worked, we worked, C shift worked. The towel was there. Next day, the fucking towel was gone. I found the towel, folded up, put on the bookshelf. I'm like, well, that's really not offending anybody. So I took it off the bookshelf, put it on the couch. A shift came, B shift work, C shift came, A uh, B shift came back. The towel's gone. No one knows where the fuck the towel is anymore. Somebody was offended because it said something. So and and it was I can literally say it was C shift. They're fucking weird. They're all fucking weirdos. Man, the shit's getting deep. We're getting we're throw, is, throw, throwing is. down the gauntlet. It's oh, gonna run, man. It's gonna... So yeah, so a Christmas present. From somebody is now we gone. see every day we're on shift is now gone. It wasn't offensive at all. It was a fucking Dalmatian on a little towel that said like fire department. Who cares? It ain't it is not bothering you. You do not sit on that fucking couch, leave it alone. And if you do, there's a towel uh, there. Okay, so I am gonna remove this towel from the couch, but I will leave all the fucking garbage and trash all over the fucking place and I won't mess with it. Dude, these apples have been on the counter for three fucking weeks. Throw them away. No one's going to get mad. Trust me. Welcome oh, to behind the scenes dude. of the firehouse. Oh, my fucking is- God. Don't get me started. Sounds, like, sounds like we're there. Ooh, ooh, no, breast. Sounds like we're there. This is real life behind the firehouse. And so <laughs> behind the scenes of the firehouse, it's... Uh... Listen, folks, we could do the Real Housewives of uh, of Station whatever. Fucking Christ, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or I guess it wouldn't be the Real Housewives. It would be the Real Firefighters of Station whatever. Uh, and there would be more drama involved than people would ever imagine. But it's, yeah. Uh, over nothing. It's over nothing. Over but that's nothing. the issue, right? Yeah. That's the issue. Drama over nothing. So what do you think the chances of somebody's watching right now and that fucking towel is going to show up tomorrow? No. You don't think so? No, in fact, that towel is being okay. set on fire right now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> really. It, it was nothing. Of, it was literally a fucking gift. And it looked good. You know, it kind of spruced the place up. All right. I've got an idea for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea for you. Only because okay. uh, you can't. I mean, don't don't mess with. <laughs> here's the disclaimer, folks. Don't mess with people's food. Safety issue, safety issue. Keep it unless it's on the counter, then it's community. So if you leave anything on the counter, that's fucking free game. Okay. Well, that's true. That is true. Or if it's Uh, in the refrigerator in in the refrigerator with nobody's name. I'm also true. (laughs) I mean, we we mess with people's food, not in it. We didn't put anything in it that's gonna kill people. 
let's <laughs> let's be honest. But I, what I, what I think you should do is uh, offer to make some hot, uh, corn dogs for for C shift as a as like a, a uh, as a way to calm it down, like to deescalate the situation. Offer to make some corn dogs uh, okay. for 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 C shift. <laughs> That is great. If anyone <laughs> can't see that, it's literally a fucking cattail with mustard on it. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> today, I found, today at work, I found some, quote, wild corn dogs growing in the natural habitat. This was real exciting for me as I've never picked fresh corn dogs before, but I have no idea how to tell them how to tell when they're ripe as they tasted horrible no matter how much mustard I put on them. That is uh, fucking great. <laughs> Oh, the, that is so good. I like it. So yeah, <laughs> offer to make some. Uh, offer to make some some, some corn, corn dog dogs, dinner yeah. to, to 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 take care yeah. of it. Uh, you have to wait till spring day. You guys don't have any uh, cattails oh, right now. Uh, no, no. Every, I mean, it's like freaking. What is it? Like ten degrees outside. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. So, uh, we. I mean, we tried all of the. Uh, we tried some different food things once upon a time. I mean. Were- Do you remember Bobby Mons's lasagna in the dishwasher? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? We must <laughs> you have been on the pictures? We must know, but check this oh. thing out. Like this. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Okay. So, I got, we got to go on that story. So, I love Bobby Monson. Great cook. Uh, he actually introduced me to mead. Still drank mead. We actually have a meadery just down the street from, from where I he still have right some of his mead and his dandelion wine from Rich Ray's. Dog pooped dandelion. So yeah, <laughs> extra flavor. Uh, but he came up with this idea. His fish tacos were fan off the fucking chart. Man. And we still use his recipe for a sauce. They're great. We still have them. They're yeah. awesome. But he shout came out up to Bobby Monson. Came up with this idea. To, I don't even remember. I do sleep with the meat every night. I don't know. <laughs> he fucking seen something on the chive because that's all he watched was the fucking chive. At that point, so yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure he's seen something on the chive. And so. He uh, he decided he was gonna make lasagna in the dishwasher. Yeah, you heard that right, folks. <laughs> yes. He was gonna make dishwasher. Make I can't even say it right. He was gonna make lasagna in the dishwasher. But How, this wasn't a gag. This was nope. literally what we were we having spent, for dinner. We spent all day like getting excited about dishwasher lasagna. Yeah, and uh, y'all can imagine how that turned. <laughs> yeah just from the idea just from the sound of it uh but this is a chat this this is a challenge this is a bobby monson challenge this is he's gonna take this is for him so you gotta show him this garlic bread and lasagna sandwich dude okay. look at look at that you put lasagna inside of cheesy garlic bread does that not look fantastic that looks great right that yeah. does so you all wow. have to the next time you're at the firehouse, you're gonna have to make some lasagna and put it inside lasagna some cheesy that, garlic that, bread. That looks really good. That looks really good. I don't know. It's not all. It's not, not all fun and games. Here we can give people some ideas. So you can first try. Here, here's the challenge. All right, for those that want you to challenge it, us, here's the challenge: make, di- make this dish, make this dish, garlic. I don't even know how you and I got on this topic when I had this picture pulled up today. So it's, it's by divine, divine intervention. So the challenge is to make this meal that we're showing on the screen. It's cheesy garlic bread sandwich with a lasagna in the middle. So, but the lasagna in the middle has to be dishwasher lasagna. Okay. First one to perfect that, get something out of Neil's okay. junk drawer. So I, I think where we, where we went wrong with the dishwasher lasagna is we ran it through the fucking wash cycle where I think we should just should have put it in during a couple of heat cycles. The heat and dry now, cycle. Granted, it was wrapped up and it wasn't really waterlogged, but I think we fucked that up because we should have just did it on the heat cycle. Because, you know, that, you know, yeah. So, hmm. we'll have to try um, that. So, I Google search cooking lasagna dishwasher, and the first thing that pulls up is Mythbusters. Bobby Monson? Mythbusters cooking lasagna. In the oh, dishwasher. Maybe that's where he did it work. No, no, I mean there are all kinds of directions on how to cook lasagna <laughs> in the dishwasher. Well, then maybe they'll then maybe it's a thing. I don't know. We're gonna have to we'll have to figure that out. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to go take some fucking blood pressure medicine because my shit's still fucking 
worked up on the goddamn fucking fire dog towel. Well, we got Son a little bitch. We got to get you pulled back down. So Woo. let's see here. What do I'm I got? still worked up. Man, I'm fucking flushed and everything. Sorry. Sorry, well, folks. Well, you can't see I'm like fucking beet red. I'm like a, the fucking Oompa Loompas. Oh, no, their faces were green. I don't have anything queued up for you today to play back down into like the chill zone. Nah, man. It's all good. It's all good. Speaking of being amped up, um, <laughs> I know uh, we're closing in on our time, but I am I am nervous and excited for the Bills game tonight, man. I want them to um, beat the Chiefs so bad, but what a crazy you know weekend what? of football so far. I mean, so the, the games that played yesterday, it's like, can you really – pick an underdog for those teams because they made it there for a reason. So it's so hard for Vegas or whoever to figure out who the underdog is. Well, okay, I'm counting you know, like the Packers I'm, I'm are playing at home. You know, and the and the Titans are playing at home. Yeah. So it's like the fucking home team's lost. So if we so if you were a betting man, mm -hmm. you would bet that the Bills are going to win. Listen, because the money they're not playing at home. The money is pouring into the bills, actually. So uh, typically in the NFL, what? You, they say that being the home team gives you a three-point advantage, roughly. Unless you're the Packers and I haven't lost a home game since 1955 or it gives some them a five point advantage. That's called, that's called the announcer's curse. As soon as they say that, shit goes wrong. Oh, he hasn't missed a kick in uh, 60 years. Look, oh, wide to the right. Yeah. <laughs> The Bills Chiefs game started off with the Chiefs being a two and a half point favorite, which would make sense them playing being at home. Yeah. Uh, but over the over the course of the week, it's come down all the way down to one point. I mean, so that means that money is pouring into the Bills side to pull that down in the right direction. So well, yeah, because I mean <laughs> these teams that are playing are no slouches. I mean, no. they actually I mean I mean the two games yesterday. They were fucking defensive battles. I mean, those well, defenses the 49ers like, won. The 49ers won without scoring an offensive touchdown. <laughs> well, Let that sink in, Packers fans. Let yeah. that sink in. You got yeah. beat without having a touchdown scored against you. Yeah. Hey, by the offense. By the it's offense. A it's clarify. a game of inches. Literally, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we were talking that. Yeah, uh, never know. So yeah. they so they're going to be good games, and uh, so. Whoever comes out ahead, probably Tampa Bay. It's going to be a good Super Bowl. I think so. Uh, yeah, I mean, gosh. It's been a long time. It's been since 1993 since the Bills were in the Super Bowl. I can't look that far ahead yet. I can't. I got to look. We got to take care I of business today. I haven't seen a Super Bowl game as awesome as 1985, but, you know, whatever. I, uh, I don't remember that one. Were you even born? Yes. Like, how, how how old were you in 1990, or 1985? Well, they were playing the Super Bowl back actually in, like, December in 1985, right? Yeah. Uh, December, what, yeah what was what, so what, 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 what game are you referencing? So you Google Super Bowl champs in 1985, and you play – I'll play the fucking – how about we play the fucking video? Oh, it's your Bears. It's the last yeah. time. It's the last time – so is that the last time your Bears won the Super Bowl? Hasn't it? You probably can't, probably won't be able to hear this, but oh, I just lost it. It didn't like that. Can you hear uh, that? No, I can't hear that. Boo, 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 stream yard. Oh, I can hear it. You really can't hear it? <laughs> no. But we're watching oh, the Super Bowl bitch. shuffle from the 1985 yeah. Chicago Bears. So that game was played January 20th, 1985. So January 20th <laughs> of 1985, I was a uh, strong, I was a strong yeah. nine months old. So just, <laughs> just to put that Willie Gall, Refrigerator Perry, Richard Dent, Walter Payton. And, huh? look, what, look at the size of these guys compared to NFL guys today. Oh, they're... They're small. They like they look like me. They look but like their but their shoulder pads were bigger, so they looked uh yeah, like monsters. Yeah. yeah, like monsters. Yeah, so I'm hoping that next week when I come back on, I'm excited and thrilled that the the Bills are there playing in the yes. AFC Championship yes. game. That's the goal. So, okay, so we're gonna have to work through some logistics for next week. That's on. Yep, we'll be here, folks. We're not giving up. We'll be here for episode 15. 
we're going to be here for episode 15. I mean, what time do you fly out on Sunday? In the morning. We could like, do a, we could do an evening, 6.30 a.m. Oh, shit. So we can do an evening. Yeah, we could do an evening broadcast. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Yep. Yeah. So we will be here for episode 15 because... Because it's fucking champagne and caviar, bitches. We are not going to stop. We are not going to stop. We've broken through the 14 episode breakthrough. I don't know. I I was kind of like, eh, those last couple ones, but this one, dude, is pretty good. I like We're this good. one. This you got me my... all fucking worked up. You got me all fired up. I'm ready to do like punch holes in the fucking wall. So, good. What are you doing? Are you painting like your? I just see. This is my point. I gotta. I'm. I need some Botox. Oh. Take care of these. Okay, if okay, next episode, if you get Botox, you got to get your fucking lips injected. I want to see <laughs> you big old lips poking through this yeah. mustache and beard. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, <laughs> so, so, all, so, all show you can just do duck lips. Just do duck lips the whole show. Yeah, this uh, this eyebrow, these eyebrows are sitting low on these eyes. So, if I'm gonna look like Daniel Craig, I'm gonna have to get these things pulled up a little bit. Something, yeah, yeah. you gotta do something. That's right. Yeah. Right on, brother. I've got. All right. So, so with that, let me. Okay. Volume's on. Is the volume on? I think we. I think we have wasted everybody's time enough. Let's go Bills. Let's go Buffalo. Yeah. Let's go Bills. And Lucy, put supper on the stove, my dear, because this ball game is over.